we have to understand what cholesterol actually is. It isn't just some glob of grease floating in your blood to annoy your doctor. It is a structural necessity. Think of your body like a house. Every single cell in your body, billions of them, has a cell membrane, which is the wall that holds the cell together. Cholesterol is the mortar between the bricks. It keeps those walls strong, but flexible. Now here's where the confusion happens. When you have damage in your arteries, usually caused by inflammation from high sugar, processed carbs, and seed oils, cholesterol rushes to the scene to patch the damage. It's the firefighter putting out the fire. Blaming cholesterol for heart disease is like blaming the firefighter for the fire just because you found him at the scene. This isn't just theory though. We can look back at data from the Framingham Heart Study, one of the longest running cardiovascular studies in history. An analysis of the data revealed a shocking trend among older adults. There was actually an association between low cholesterol and higher mortality rates. In other words, the people with the lowest cholesterol were often the ones with the highest risk of death, suggesting that as we age, cholesterol may be protective, not destructive. In fact, your body knows this is so important that it doesn't rely on food alone. Your liver actually manufactures about 75% of the cholesterol in your body. If you eat less, your liver makes more. If you eat more, your liver makes less. Your body is fighting to keep those levels up because without that structural repair, your cells would literally fall apart. That is why we focus on the root cause of the fire, inflammation, rather than firing the firefighter.